Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to read a comment to my witchcraft video. I thought it was worthy of repeating. I'm giving them the initial G, that is the first letter of their YouTube name. Amen. Been there. Thank you, Jesus, for deliverance. The new trick along these lines that has a lot of churchgoers fooled is hypnosis as a form of therapy because it is done by a doctor with a degree dressed in business professional clothing. People, even Christians, seek hypnosis to seek relief of emotional, mental conditions or to lose weight or stop smoking, etc. Anything that seeks help, wisdom, or information from a source other than the Lord and His Holy Spirit always leads to witchcraft, idolatry, and has very, very serious ramifications. <clears throat> wow, I don't know where they came from. Anyone having dabbled in the realm, in this realm, needs deliverance from the spirits that attached themselves as a result. Pat, two cents, that is so true. Listen, even if they did it as a joke or without meaning to, the scriptures warning of this stuff are not a joke because the Lord knows what would happen to us if we did. Thanks for this video. I have met a lot of Christians who are uninformed as to the scriptures regarding these things, but we need to watch less TV and pick up the Bible again. And I'm going to say it in my words, we need to watch less TV and read a whole lot more of the word because we're walking around ignorant as idiots, not knowing what to do. You know what that's like? This just popped in me. Um, this is Pat's two cents, by the way. What that's like is watching a person with a physical emergency. All of a sudden, they can't breathe, or they're having a heart attack, or or they're having an, um, an anxiety attack. And you know, God says in his word, my people perish for lack of knowledge. People die, physically die, because a relative or a friend has no clue what to do in an emergency situation. So where the person could have lived, they end up dying because instead of the person calling 911, they call another family member who has to drive miles to come while they're crying and pulling their hair out, not knowing what to do. Or... They sit there, and if the person just needed some air, some oxygen, they don't think to call 911 and then give them CPR or ask for instructions to give them CPR. They just freak out. While they're freaking out, all that time being wasted is causing that, person's, that person to die. So ignorance can be very deadly. And that's what happens to us as born-again Christians. We don't realize what we're dealing with. We don't realize that we war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against wickedness in high places. I mean, this thing is very demonic. And God has been warning us all through the Old and New Testament. Jesus, oh my goodness, he dealt with demons more than he dealt with healing. Because a lot of the sicknesses were a result of demonic attacks and demonic strongholds. So here we go. I'm going to read this next thing that he wrote. Uh, I really like the way he wrote this. Anytime hypnosis is in the Bible, look at John 14, 26. In the Greek English translation, the verb translated in English as will bring to your remembrance is one word in Greek, hypnotize, which literally means to come under the influence of. In God's design, this concept is seen a lot 
through scripture, when the scripture says the Holy Spirit came upon someone and they did this or they did that, or it says that they did something by the Holy Spirit, meaning under the unction, direction, leading, guidance, influence, and with this and that, it says by. Now, the equipping power of the Holy Spirit, that's really what we're dealing with. I misread, but anyway, the equipping power of the Holy Spirit. So seeking hypnosis is subjecting our mind, will, and body to a familiar spirit because the hypnotherapist, check this out, whether or not he knows it or not, is himself being used by that same familiar spirit. Yeah, I added a little word to give it a little emphasis. Pat's two cents. Thank you so much, G, for giving us your input because it's so insightful, it's so right on, it's on point. And a lot of us don't understand what we're dealing with. I refuse to ever go to a psychotherapist when I can go to God. If I'm tormented with emotions and anger and volatile uh, temperament, I can go to God and guess what? His peace right there instantly without charge. You might want to try that. The other, the other at, uh, <laughs> the other advantage is when you need deliverance, healing from emotional instability, from emotional wounds, from hurts, from fear, anxiety, whatever the case is, guess what? The answer's right there. It's right within our reach. It's very accessible instantly with instant results. When God comes inside of you and does an inner healing, that may be a process, but let me tell you one thing. There is no bill on top of that. There are no negative side effects. Add beautiful beauty to blessing. The healing is so thorough that you feel no more pain from that one thing you were healed from. I'm a witness. I have experienced so much inner healing. It still boggles my mind. So that's why I wrote my book years ago. I mean, it's a little plug. I might as well throw it in since I use that expression. You know how people say, oh, that blows my mind. Well, I wrote a book called That Still Blows My Mind because all the things that God has done in my life still blows my mind. And a lot of it is written the way I speak. So it should be very conversational in nature, easy for you. A lot of people that read it told me it felt like I was sitting across the table from them, talking to them personally. So check the book out. It's available on Amazon. And it's also available on createspace.com, where I get a higher, <clears throat> a higher um, royalty. Yeah, that helps a lot when you're a widow on fixed income. Anyway, so moving right along, you have to know what you're dealing with in the spirit realm. You have to know what you're fighting. You can't beat the air and think you're going to get anything done. That's like a person running around hollering, what am I going to do? 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 While their child is laying there dying. And then the child is dead. And the person's still hollering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, they didn't help the situation any because they were too busy reacting instead of getting the information they did not have so they could act on it and possibly save that child's life. Panic kills. And panic, a lot of times, also comes from fear and ignorance. 
And ignorance is not an insult. Ignorance literally means the lack of knowledge. That's why God said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Anyway, know your enemy. Know what you're dealing with. Know what to stay away from. And a lot of this stuff that we talk about in these videos, oh, you need to stay as far away from them as the East is from the West. <laughs>